have you ever done speed ramping? No, it's nothing to do with wrecking the suspension on your car. <laughs> it's a way to change the speed of your video clip to make it more engaging, to make it visually pleasing. I'm going to show you two ways that we can use speed ramping in PowerDirector 365. Let's take a look. So today we're creating speed ramping. We're going to increase the speed of our videos to make them more engaging or parts of the video clip. I'm Harvey Roberts. This is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki and I've been messing around with speed ramping. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first one is the absolute beginner's default way. And after that, we're going to finesse it a bit, mess around and have an absolute blast. So that's enough of me rabbiting on what we're going to be doing. Let's open up PowerDirector. Let's create a time shift. Ooh. So here we are inside PowerDirector 365. I have already brought in a, vid a video from Stock Media. I went to Getty Images iStock and I downloaded this video. Now this, if I leave my mouse over it, you can see um, it's a high definition video. It's only 25 frames per second, which is important to remember. It runs at just under 34 seconds. So let's drop this down onto the timeline so you can see what this is. It's basically a video of fish. I'm going to switch off the sound because we don't want that underwater sound and I'm just going to play it along so you can see what happens. Now basically it's just a bunch, it's four fish or so and they just swim around and then they just come and look at the camera. <laughs> they, they just come and look at the camera and you can imagine them talking to themselves. Hey, is this a video? Are we on YouTube? Oh look, hey, and he's shouting and say, yeah, look at this one. He comes again and he has a really good look at the camera and he goes, hey, what, what are you videoing? Hey, look at that. Are you videoing us? And then he just tells everyone and they all just scarper really quickly at the end of the video. <laughs> so that is it. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's great fun. So what we want to do is we want to do some speed ramping. Now 25 frames per second is really slow um, because Europe 25, 50 frames per second, um, America 30, 60 frames per second. You do need to go higher but it it's still doable at 25 frames or 30 frames per second, so don't worry about that. Make sure your video is selected down on your timeline. Click on edit above it here or just double click your clip here. And under the video here on the top left, we're going to go the sixth one down, of course, which is video speed right here. See that there's a little eye against it. If you click on that, it tells you video speed, slow down or speed up to reduce the speed of your video clip. Very cool. Thank you. So let's click this open. Now, if yours comes a little window like this, then you will just maximize it like you normally do with windows. Make it bigger like this. And now you have several options here on the top left of here and then there's a few more buttons. We'll get into those down on the bottom right. Now take note of the timeline. You see this how it just goes slow like this as it updates. It wants to do that every time you make a change an option here. Now I have an intermediate desktop PC and this really is processor intensive so be careful watch for this it may crash sometimes i've had it crash a couple of times because i've been messing around too much so let's check our clip see we've got the top left corner here we've got entire clip and a selected range so entire clip it shows you the video length is 33 45 and then we can just change its duration so we're dragging this slider here to the right increases the video speed dragging it to the left decreases the video speed see that i can't get these back to one and oh look at that perfect if you can't get it back to one you can just click on this 1.0 on your keyboard and it will bring it back to the normal speed or you can use these little things here now let's go down a little bit and you'll see we've got this normal video options here that you play play stop fast forward and one stop one frame at a time like that then we've got our timeline here there are no numbers there's nothing here you can drag the playhead along your timeline like so also here under the video clip now there are two options here create a time shift this little button is grayed out and there's a little bit 
rubbish bin to remove the time shift. Now, obviously they grayed out because we haven't created one yet. Now, when we go over to the right hand side here, you'll see we've got some options here. We've got this, it says view the entire video. This is exactly the same as you would do on your project window here on this. It's the same thing here. See, say it looks the same, that's what it does. However, this one here, it says zoom in and zoom out, right? Now it doesn't zoom in here on your video, it zooms in on your timeline. This is absolutely infuriating. It takes so long to update this timeline. It annoys me. So I'm going to show you how this works. Now there's also a settings cog button here and we'll get into that in a moment. So go over to the left hand side. Top left and we're going to do a selected range. So click on that tab and now you'll see it's changed a little bit. Now we have this blue button called time shift, create a time shift. Time shift is what is speed ramping basically is, is because all you're doing is speeding the video, ramping the speed up and dropping it down and, and then ramp, it's called a ramping, see? And if we just click on this eye, it's got this wonderful explanation. Drag it into the time shift and it, you can read that for yourself. I'm not going to read it for you. <laughs> just click on it and have a read. It's, it's informative. So we've got a time shift, we've got a duration, we've got a speed multiplier, we've got, we've got two buttons and ease in, ease out. Now these are grayed out because we haven't done anything yet. Now it's turned up this create time shift on the bottom as well, see? So what we're going to do is we're going to create time shift. I'm going to move the playhead, but instead of moving it, I'm going to type in a number right here. And I'm going to type in nine seconds. So my playhead now is at nine seconds. I'm going to create a time shift with the button, either one top or bottom. It doesn't really matter which one you get. And you'll get this yellow box on your timeline. Now you can see here the duration on the left. It says it's the box has turned up at two seconds. That's the minimum that it will give you. You can, you can decrease it, but this is the minimum that you get when you first bring it. So I'm going to drag this out to go to 25, 24, 30, 40, 50, there. See, 25. So from 9 to 25, we've got this speed ramp or this time shift. So now if we look at this zoom in, zoom out feature that you have here, if I move this somewhere central like so, you'll see. And of course it takes this forever to update. But now we've got this slider so we can slide this back along. And now you can see our box is now almost the whole length of this viewing area that we have here. This, And, and as you can see, it's taking forever to update. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this back down so we just view this easier like this. I'm not going to play with that anymore. So let's have a look at this little settings button that we have here. Now remember our video is 25 frames per second. So let's click on this little button here and you'll get this little window turn up. Audio settings, we can remove the audio or we can keep the audio. And there's a tab to keep the audio pitch when you slow down or speed up the video. Now the next one underneath, I'm not particularly interested in the audio, but the next one underneath is called interpolation setting. Now interpolation setting only works when we actually decrease the speed. And because this is 25 frames per second, we need to be careful when we decrease it because interpolation basically does is it fills in the gaps between our frames because it, when we slow it down the 25 frames it'll just look all jerky it'll just get all like a really old video game but interpolation adds frames in between so it, it looks nice and smooth we're not going to use this of course but i'm going to show you that the frame settings that you have you see this little eye at the side just click on it once and it shows you what video speeds or decreases you'll be using if you want to use interpolation. See, there's 20, 25, 33, all the way up to minus 80. Now these are minus settings. Speed ramping on, on is, is, is the same, but if you go faster, you, you can't use interpolation, only on decrease. Cool. We're not gonna be using that on this because we're just messing around. Now we've got this playhead, we've got our little time shift here. Now the playhead is irrelevant inside this time shift because 
when we speed this up it applies to the whole yellow box it doesn't matter where this video clip is this this video ed is it doesn't matter it applies it to the box so we're going to speed this up from nine and let's increase its speed exponentially look at that now we're 44 frames per second now that is going to be really fast i'm going to bring that down to let's say about <laughs> really one and a half seconds that'll do so I'm going to move the playhead just to be before and click play and you'll see it'll go really quick there see that pretty sweet once you take the playhead off and it goes blue see so you can't change anything because we're not actually editing anything so make sure you just click inside the box to keep it yellow again doesn't matter where the playhead is I'm going to increase this all the way up like this so it's 14 frames so this is that is really fast and what happens is now because it's only 14 frames this gets really jerky uh, it's pretty horrible to be honest so if we just play this then go see that it's it's nasty that's why you need very high frames so that you can keep the your video looking nice so that's too much and the thing is once you've gone to a, a too high a duration you can't ease in and ease out it doesn't work now ease in and ease out is a minimum of two seconds so just click in here zero two like so and now we can use ease in and ease out if we go less than that let's go to zero one thirty nothing see can't can't change that so your minimum is two seconds for ease in and ease out if we play this you won't see it um try it on your own video i can see it when i watch it i notice it a little but it, basically it's 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 good but yeah and that's it and that's how to speed ramp your video now if you you, you want to choose a different area just drag these along like so and you can make them smaller and larger now if you make them smaller look what's happening here at your duration see that we're going higher take it a little bit more higher like so and to check those out can't change them because it's at 135 see so let's make that go to two seconds i'm going to click this and click that so we've got them both and i'm going to try to change this video clip see i can change it oh that it's stopped see that it's stopped there yeah I can't change this size any more than what it is now that is it and the reason being is because we've got ease in and ease out so if you're changing these and you th all of a sudden it stops and you go oh, what, what's happening just check that you've got ease in and ease out and unselect them like so and then you can resize cool and that is how to do speed ramping now we're going to play with some toys and have some fun so i'm going to delete this with this little bucket here and i'm going to click cancel i don't want to play i understand i'm just click no so now that we've done that video speed there's another way to do this and there's another way that's even more fun so go all the way down and you see this one it says under video reverse it says action camera center and if you click on this little eye icon it says fix or add effects to your action sequence to maintain excitement it's fishes swimming how exciting more exciting can you get <laughs> it's wonderful <laughs> let's click on action camera center let's have a look ah it's the same window and the same infuriating slow timeline however we've got some fun things to play with on the left hand side here fix and effect let's go to fix first <coughs> sorry so we can do lens corrections if if your video has problems with lenses we can click on a lens correction here open it up and choose a maker you've got plenty to choose from um i don't know what this one was done in so there's nothing to do here <coughs> now the main one that probably you'd be using is if you're using a phone um video stabilizer if it's a bit bouncy we can stabilize our video and you can use this and make it so it doesn't bounce as much which is a very interesting effect to, to use especially handheld we've got some white balance now we can change start changing this color as you can see this is really green right but with the white balance if we drag this all the way over like this 
and drag this all the way over like that see that we can now make it so it's, that looks even that looks really nice see so we can white balance your video clip if if it's not good enough for you and we've got some color presets now there's a lot in here i have a lot of these so uh, you just click and see which ones you want and some of them are just outrageous look that is very jaws kind of thing <laughs> and they're very cool and um yeah enjoy these things they're great fun to play with <clears throat> so that's our fix Everything else is basically the same. So let's go to effects and see what we've got in here. Here's our effects. Now we've got the same thing. We've got a create time shift. However, under now our time shift, we've got four options to play with. We've got replay, we've got speed, we've got stop motion, we've got zoom and pan, which is a very cool effect to use. We've also got freeze frame. Now freeze frame comes with its own button. So we've got one button here and down on the bottom, we've got the create time shift button, which we had earlier, but now we've got to add freeze frame. So we've got two ways to play with this. So let's put our video clip at 09, where it was before. Press enter RV and just create a time shift. So let's create our little box, drag it along till we get to 25 like we had before. There we go. Now here's the thing, if you've done the video speed on your clip and then you click into action camera your speed time shift will be here as well because they're the same one and the same speed speed and here from our video speed they're exactly the same it will be here so just watch out for that I prefer to delete and, and do everything here if I'm going to be playing around with these. And uh, If you're just doing the video speed, just do the video speed one. Leave these alone. Same thing here. Terrible. So let's have a look. Replay. Click it open. Click on replay. Now, 20, this is going to be a bit too long. So I'm going to drop this down to replay. So it plays, a, let's say... There, there, let's say there, that's a good place to, to be, right? So we've got replay. It, we've got how many times you want it to replay? So it's going to replay it twice. So it's going to, fish is going to come here, go back and come again. Add reverse effect. Uh, okay, let's reverse it. And we'll have it on the first play. And then all you do is you just play it and it just, the swim, it just comes forward. It plays and then bounds. It just reverses it and then comes again. Simple thing, right? Boing, and there they go, they go backwards. <laughs> and then they come again. Very cool. Interesting effect. I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. So that's replay done. So speed exactly the same as what we had before. Nothing to show you there. Stop motion. Now this is an interesting thing. Stop motion does what stop motion does. It flips it every so often so how many times do we want to have the stop motion i'm going to choose 20 like so so it flicks it for 20 so let's just play this along and see what happens it'll just come there and it'll just be like a juddery effect see <laughs> and it just judders like that i'm not quite sure if you'd like that effect it's a pretty cool effect but yeah that's not for me i don't want stop motion but that's what he has. My favorite, zoom and pan. This is so cool. Zoom and pan. Now here you have a box and we have some keyframes. See that? So I'm going to put my playhead right at the beginning of our video. Now, if you go too far or just at the very beginning here of your time shift, you see, we can't add a zoom effect because we're just one frame outside of this so make sure you your playhead is literally inside this box and what we're going to do is you can add a keyframe here or we can just drag this bounding box resize it like so and i'm going to put it right over that fish now back down on our time shift see we've got a marker turned up now very nice i'm going to put this playhead all the way to the end like so and i'm going to resize this box again 
and I'm going to put it here, right there. See, and now I've got another marker. So when we play this, what happens is it zooms in on the fish. <laughs> and it is very funny. So let's play it along. And there it goes. And it just runs along like so. Hey, and there's a big fish. <laughs> that is so cool. Especially if you want to show something really up close. Um, and you can change how much it zooms in with the bounding box. Very nice, right? <laughs> that is so much fun. Now, you can add, keep adding keyframes and keep resizing and changing the box. Like here, let's put in another keyframe at this point here and just pull out a little bit like so. And then when we play it, you see, it'll play it and it'll do some really crazy stuff. Zooms in, pulls back, and then it zooms back in again, see? Very, very cool effect. Now, these markers that you have here, if you move your mouse over it, right click on the marker, you can remove it. So we, if we don't want that anymore, I don't want to see that anymore. So I'm just going to remove all those. So that's zoom and pan everything else we've done. Now what we're going to do is the freeze frame. Now you can add freeze frames also inside your time shift. I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to open this freeze frame and add a freeze frame feature here. And I'm going to click it once. And it, now you get this little diamond marker now. This is, this is different to the markers we had with the zoom and pan. So it's created a freeze frame for us. Um, the duration is one second. I'm going to set it to three seconds like so. And we're going to apply a zoom effect. So let's click on that. Drag this in like so. Same thing that we had with the zoom and pan, but this now zooms in while it's stood still and it's on last play. Now, if you're running this with replay, it'll and, and choose last play, it'll play it, and then when the fish goes backwards, and then it comes again, it'll stop, it'll zoom in, see? <laughs> There's so many options to play with. So let's just run this, and, and let me show you how this works. It'll just run, and it'll freeze the fish at three, and bounce in, see? Boing! <laughs> very, very cool for three seconds. I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna add another freeze frame. I'm going to put this at three seconds as well. Same thing. And you can just add infinitum, these freeze frames. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's so much fun to play with. And while you're playing, of course, you're learning how it's working. See, zooms in, comes back out, plays along a little bit more, and then goes in again. Stops because I didn't do the freeze frame because on this one, I didn't apply the zoom effect. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's put that back in again. And just run this from here. And there you go. And that's how you play around and zoom in, comes back out and it'll carry on and it'll zoom in again. <laughs> I absolutely love playing with this stuff. And that is how to play around with speed ramping and messing around with everything else that you have here. You can right click on these now also and remove them if you don't wish to have any more. You can also change your bounding box like so. Now remember the bounding box, remember the ease in, ease out effect, apply a speed effect, remember this from the earlier part, same thing applies here as well. And that is speed ramping in PowerDirector 365. Brilliant fish. <laughs> How cool was that? Speed ramping is great fun to play around with. If you enjoyed this video tutorial and you found it informative, consider subscribing. Give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people. <laughs>